your love and peace which surpasses all understanding guards our heart and our mind in Jesus name and today I'm asking you to join to us once again to join to us in our daily devotional reading in the book of first Timothy chapter 5 do not rebuke an older man but exhort him as a father younger men as brothers older women as mothers younger women as sisters with all purity honor widows who are really widows but if any widow has children or grandchildren let them first lo learn how to show piety at home and to repay their parents for this is good and acceptable before god now he she who is really a widow and left alone trusts in God and continues in supplications and prayers night and day. But she who lives in pleasure is dead while she lives. And these things command that they may be blameless. But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Do not let a widow under 60 years old be taken into the number, and not unless she has been the wife of one man, well reported for good works, if she has brought up children, if she has lodged strangers, if she has washed the saints' feet, if she has relieved the afflicted, if she has diligently followed every good work, but refuse the younger widows, for when they have begun to grow wanton against Christ, they desire to marry, having condem condemnation because they have cast off their first faith. And besides, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but also gossips and busybodies, saying things which they ought not. Therefore I desire that the younger widows marry, bear children, manage the house, give no opportunity to the adversary to speak reproachfully. For some have already turned aside after Satan. If any believing man or woman has widows, let them relieve them, and do not let the church be burdened, that it may relieve, relieve those who are really widows. Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in the word and dog in doctrine for the scripture says you shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain and the labor is worthy of his wages do not receive an accusation against an elder except from two or three witnesses those who are sinning rebuke in the presence of all that the rest also may fear i charge you before god and lord jesus christ and the elect angels that you observe these things without prejudice, doing nothing with partiality. Do not lay hands on anyone hastily, nor share in other people's sins. Keep yourself pure. No longer drink only water, but use a little wine for your stomach's sake in your frequent infirmities. Some men's sins are clearly evident, preceding them to judgment, but those of some men follow later. Likewise, the good works of some are clearly evident, and those that are otherwise cannot be hidden. Chapter 6 of 1 Timothy Let us as many bondservants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, so that the name of God and his doctrine may, be, may not be blasphemed. And those who have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren but rather serve them because those who are benefited are believers and beloved. Teach and exhort these things. If anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which accords with godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words, from which come envy, strife, reviling evil suspicions, useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. From such, 
withdraw yourself. Now godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts, which draw men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is, is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, to which you were also called, and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I urge you in the sight of God, who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus, who witnessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate, that you keep this commandment without spot, blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ's appearing, which he will manifest in his own time. He who is the blessed and only potate, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, dwelling in unre unapproachable light, whom no man has seen or can see, to whom be honor and everlasting power. Amen. Amen. Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Let them do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lo lay hold on eternal life. O Timothy, guard what was committed to your trust, avoiding the profane and idle babblings and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge. By professing it, some have strayed concerning the faith. Grace be with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for your word. And today, I pray for our families, our friends, our loved ones, our neighbor. Watch over them, protect them, bless them abundantly. Help us to be a source of encouragement, support, and love to those who, us, who are around us. We offer this prayer to you, our Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Have a blessed day to all of you, and thank you once again for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Alicia Meller Ministry. Have a blessed day.